Hello there. Welcome to Trade of the Week. Now, last week we had Josh Mahoney here. He chose to go long on Aussie Kiwi. Uh, he was very confident that Aussie was going to ramp up and spoke of more favourable news coming from China, which is crucial for the commodity based economy, of course. And he was talking about a 1141. Chris Beecham is here to uh, analyse how that trade developed for Josh. We had a bit of a gap down at the beginning of the week, but actually, overall, it's been a very strong upward move uh, for the pair. So, if you're holding on to this long, you may well have done uh, quite well out of this. And the question is now, does it keep going? Well, you can see there we're at 11250 or just below that. And that's above the high we had last week. So, in one sense, we've had a breakout, um, but you might argue that maybe in the short term, this trade could have run its course for the time being, but not a bad performance, I think, for uh, the Aussie versus the New Zealand dollar. OK, good stuff. And um, what about you? Are you, you going to stay down under? Are you going to diversify? No, I'm going to bring it back. I'm, unlike Josh, I don't tend to go into the slightly more exotic currency pairs. We're going to come back home to the FTSE 100 itself, uh, which has had, again, it's been a very strong week. This is where we are, were at the beginning of the week, around about 62.93. Although, although we've or are fairly near to where we started the week. We had a good rally up to 6,400. Um, that's not done too bad. We've pulled back. And I think actually, if we look at the daily chart now, you can start to see how we've actually begun uh, to roll over. We have 6,450. That was a key level from the very beginning um, of December of last year. And so the inability to break through that this week inclines me to the belief that we could see some weakness, at least in the short term. Maybe if earnings season in the US continues to disappoint as well. So we're looking for it to push further down from where we are, about 63.20. If you look at the hourly chart, uh, you can see how we are just a bit sort of overstretched on the downside, oversold, if you like. And so I think if we get a bounce in the first couple of days of next week, maybe back towards 63.50 or thereabouts, it would be a sell into strength manoeuvre. So you wait for the market to just bounce back slightly after uh, this slightly downbeat end of the week, and then you look at selling it again. So I think it continues to move lower, maybe down to 62.50, maybe even down uh, to 6200 itself. OK, and how do you actually work this? Where do you put your stops? Well, I think it's probably safe to argue that maybe about 63.75 is probably the area to watch because that was key uh, at the beginning of uh, last week and indeed towards the, throughout the week itself. So if we get back above there, that puts us crucially back above the 150 um, hour moving averages, those blue and orange lines there. So if we do get that, that I think would mark uh, the recovery. So certainly up towards there, put your stop up there and if it does get hit then it would probably suggest that the FTSE has had only a brief period of weakness and it's ready to move higher once again. Mm -hmm. And there's lots of macroeconomic data coming out next week as well surrounding the UK. So how do you imagine that they that will impact? Um, it industry? could play in if you get a poor reading on say a UK GDP and US GDP, those mm -hmm. two big numbers, the Fed as well coming into it. They are unlikely to move, but if they're fairly hawkish, you might get a bit more weakness uh, in indices, particularly if the US dollar uh, starts to go up as well. So there's plenty to affect this one this week, but I think the short bias is likely to continue. Mm -hmm. And I think the Fed is going to affect everything, isn't it, as always? Um, OK, Chris, let's just conclude this. You're going to go short on the FTSE. All right, that's it. That's the trade of the week. Thank you very much indeed for watching, and good luck with your trading. And as we always we say you've got to be safe to so put those stops on.